I'm always asked, where else can you sell besides eBay? Today, I'm going to show you some sales from another site that we do fairly well on that isn't eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some sales from a platform called HIP, H-I-P. Now they actually have three different sites and what I'm going to show you today are sales we've had on HIP postcards. They've got HIP comics and HIP stamps as well. Now they do allow other items besides just the postcards to be imported into their site with a direct link from eBay. So let's hop over right now and show you some of the items we've sold on HIP. So we're here in my hip store, and these are items that I literally sold on the platform in just the last little while. This isn't from last year or anything else like that. But we have been selling on the site for quite some time. This is one of those sites that if you have the right type of items, you can get routine sales across the board. I know people who sold on this site and have made sales pretty much immediately from the minute of the import. Now, I do have some links down below in the description box here that will give you three free months of service. So you'll get on the platform if you wish. You can directly import and sync your items onto their platform straight from eBay. We'll also sync your items so if it sells on HIP, it will end it on eBay and put the word sold in the listing so you can't miss up on anything like this. Now the links below are affiliate links so if you click on one of those start a store and import or list so much merchandise I could get a commission off of that. No cost to you of course. It is free service for you. You don't have to do anything and one of the biggest factors on hip is they pay you through paypal you don't have to wait it goes straight into your funds in paypal the minute they pay you so it's a no-brainer for something like this We've sold a considerable amount, enough to pay for months worth of bills across the board just from this site alone. So good sales across the board, as you can see. Now it does show you the actual sale price too. This item did sell for $24.84. This is a postcard from 1910-1920 and it's advertising goose grease mustache wax, basically. Interesting card. Again, some of these items were on eBay. Some of them may have been listed directly onto HIP as well. So if you can't list certain things on eBay, you can have the option to list them on other platforms as well. It depends on the item specifically itself. Now here's another card. This one did sell for 75 bucks on HIP. And this is a card advertising a penny farthing Columbia Bicycle Riding School. You've got the Crescent Moon. Very nice sale. Very happy with that. Now here's another one. This one was purchased by the same person who purchased the Columbia one I just showed you and they spent $27.50 on this one. Now this is a set of four of Easter cards with kids riding on eggs basically as a bicycle, a boat, a ship, a swing and things like that. Get happy with the sale. Good sale on this one as well. Now here's another one. Now this is a calendar card. This is dated 1880 on the back of the card. Uh, HIP has some really nice imagery. So if you want to blow it up, this site is perfect for stamps and things like that as well. You can see every single inch of the item in great detail. As long as you've uploaded, obviously, some good imagery for it. This one sold for $14.50. This is a card I've sold anywhere from $8 to, say, $14.50, as you see here. On eBay, the last one of these I sold, sold for $9.50. So it just depends on the day of the week and the platform that it is on. Now, here's a very interesting card from the 1880s, and this is Mrs. Langtree. She was a male impersonator. She did a show. She put the mustache on, the whole outfit. It's an interesting card. It went for $20. Now this has been up for a little while and I did take an offer on it for 30 bucks on it. Very fine with that. I have nothing literally into this, just like I do with pretty much everything I'm showing you here. Now HIP doesn't just sync in with postcards. You can bring in a whole bunch, like 10 more different categories will auto import just on the postcard platform. Now, as I said, there's three different platforms depending on what you sell, what you want to sell on there. Now, I'm actually going to have the CEO on tomorrow night's live show here on my channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you'll get to hear about the platform and ask him some questions yourself. Now, here's a set of six cards by John Wanamaker. Now, John Wanamaker had a bunch of department stores throughout the Northeast area. This is a six card set sold for $25.99. Now, comparable price wise to eBay, we pretty much get the same amount we do on eBay as we do on here. Now, there are final value fees on the site, obviously, just like any other site. So you'd want to check those out prior to doing anything yourself. Now, here's
here's an interesting Christmas card. This is from the 1880s. It's multi-pieces and it opens up. The two girls on the front are actually on a separate piece and it flaps to the side here. It did sell for $37.50 as you see here. Now as you've seen, most of the items I've just showed you aren't even postcards. So you've got all types of opportunities to sell many different things on here. This one here is just a Ciano type. It sold for $17.50. It was up on eBay for a little while before it was pushed out to hip and it sold on hip fairly quickly also. Now here's another interesting trade card. This one sold for $34.50 and it's fly fishing trout seen on the front. Piro and Corsair, it's a candy maker and that is actually why this one sold. Somebody was related to the actual person who created the company and one of the last names on there. So good sale, just like I sell items on eBay. It's the same basic principle and the same basic reason they will sell on hip also. We sell a ton of paper dolls as well. And here's just an example of a Beecham's pill. It's a quack medicine. It's a dwarf, elf, whatever you'd want to call it. And this paper doll here sold for 30 bucks. Good sale. This is one of those items, again, it just takes the right person to see it. So if you're out on multiple sites, you've got more opportunity for your items to be seen. Hence, you will have more opportunity for them to be sold. So it's a no-brainer in my book. Now, just like on eBay, there are niche buyers on all three of the hip platforms. You have niche buyers who are into very specific types of comics or cards or anything along that line. Now, this one here, as well as the last three, were bought by the very same person. So it was multiple sales. Now, I never get a ton of money out of the religious cards, but I mostly sell multiples to the same person tied to holidays or certain aspects of some of the text that these were pulled from. So this one sold for $7.15, as you can see here. This one's 710. Again, they're all religious tied in material. I've got multiple buyers who buy from us on eBay. I've also got multiple buyers who are different from the ones who buy on eBay on hip that will buy certain types of items like this as well. Knowing what sells good on one platform versus another one is another way to increase your profits without having more merchandise. So if I'm able to push items from one platform to another that auto syncs, it's a huge bonus, a big plus for me. I have no extra work work into doing it. Whether I pack it if it sells on eBay or if it sells on hip, it's the same basic process. Here's another one, $7.45. Again, all of these religious cards I sell from $7 to $15 on average anyway. It's a good sale. I took an offer on all four of these because they made four different offers. I will take less if someone's buying multiple items. Group discount really pays off because they'll come back and do it again. And just one more again to the same person, these last four items, $30 with shipping basically on these four different cards. It's just another site, another option. I'll show you some other sites as we go along because we do use multiple platforms these days to broadcast our merchandise across the web. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. Now, I do have some links down there that will give you three free months of service. So if you go through one of those links, the only thing you have to pay for is if you sell something, and that is it for the first three months. Now, I want to also be straight and upfront with everybody. Those are affiliate links. If you use those links at no cost to you, I could get a commission if you use them to create a store and import a certain amount of items or list a certain amount of items. I just want to be upfront with that but it is a site that I've used for well over a year and I do have decent sales as you can see from this video here but anyway hopefully you have a good day
stripes. Beechnut fruit stripe is the most deliciousest gum on earth. Maybe even in the world. Right. In the world, fruit stripe's got the five tastiest flavors in the universe. Right. Stripe, stripe, they're better than buy it. Right. And you know what? Fruit stripe is Super A1 stupendoramic. Right. And I'd like to further remark, it's rapturously sensationalistic. Right. Oh, I think it's lots better than buy it. Right. Fruit stripe flavor really hangs on. Mm, hangs on? Hangs on. It's, it's the greatest buy gum. Right. Uh, except for beechnut candy stripe. Oh, yeah. Yes, sure. And beechnut cherry stripe. And frosty stripe. And grape stripe. Yikes, stripes. By beechnut buy gum. Right. <laughs>